What's up my lovely people? Welcome back to another video and today's I will be showing you guys the process of me detangling my locks. But before we get into this video, please go ahead and subscribe and cut on your bell notifications if you haven't done so already. So here you can see that I have already detangled all of the back, sides, and front of my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and move all of that out of the way so we can begin detangling what is left in the middle. So to detangle your locks, you really only need three products. The first product being a good conditioner. Here you can see that this conditioner is a breakage defense conditioner and it is by Tresemme. It has vitamins B12 and gelatin in it as well. This is actually the second bottle of conditioner that I used. The first bottle was Tresemme's Damage Protect Conditioner that contained rice protein and B12 as well. So I definitely recommend finding a conditioner that's going to help with breakage. And then you also just need a spray bottle with water, a comb, and a grocery bag to put your shedded hair in. So a great tip while detangling your locks is to go ahead and pre-soak the portion of locks that you plan to take down at that time. That way your locks have time to soften and by the time you get to them they're easier to take down. So that's what I did here. I went ahead and pre-soaked a good portion of my locks with water. I added conditioner to them and then I'm just going to go ahead and work on this lock. Here you'll see that I'm going to add conditioner from the tips to the root that also gives it time to soften so by the time I get to the roots of my hair it is a lot easier to just comb it out. This process really does take time and if you don't have patience, trust and believe you will have plenty of it by the end of this process. Locks tend to take about 45 minutes to an hour to take down. It really depends on how long you've had your locks and the size as well. I had quite a few tiny locks in my head and then I also had um, some bigger size locks because most of my locks began to join together. So honestly the smaller locks took a lot more work to take down than the thicker locks did. So I've gotten asked so many times why I decided to take my locks down instead of just doing a big chop and honestly there are two reasons for this. Um, I had my locks for about five years so I just felt like it was time for a change but I didn't want to do the big chop because I've done the big chop before when I first went natural about seven years ago. So I decided to go ahead and detangle my locks so that I could retain my length and be able to experience my free natural hair, which was something that I hadn't done before. So how long did it really take me to take all these locks down? First I'll say that I had at least 200 or more locks in my head to begin with. So I began detangling on August 12th and I finally completed detangling on January 4th. So that was about roughly five months long. And when I say I was completely exhausted and yet so excited when I finally got to detangle, I really could not contain it. It really took me so long because A, I'm a full-time employee, I have my own business, I have three kids, and I have the household to tend to along with, so it just took more time for me to take mine down. I also wasn't pressed on time as much until I got closer to the end, so once I began detangling, I really just took my time and detangled as I could when I had time to, and like I said, I just was not pressed to get them detangled in a specific time so here you'll see that my little sidekick has decided to join me and this is of course another reason why it's taking me so long to get them completely taken down because when it comes time to it and she wants to be all about mommy everything has to come to a complete stop here I was fortunate enough for her to sit next to me and just talk to me um, while I did this so yeah that was pretty that was pretty nice, the fact that she just wanted to chill with me here instead of completely taking over.
voila guys this is pretty much done here you'll see that I'm able to go ahead and split this apart and add it to the section that is completely detangled so now we're just gonna fast forward a little bit into the day when I finally got them completely down y'all again I was so excited and I just could not hide it so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and drape this towel around me because I'm going to be adding a protein mask to my hair since I did just detangle my hair I want to go ahead and add a protein mask you know just to make sure I don't have much more breakage to come because when detangling your locks you're gonna shed a, a lot of hair if I could have shown y'all how much hair that I did shed in this process y'all would have not believed that I had a head full of hair still so right now I'm going to go ahead and just soak my hair in some water and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the protein mask that I'm going to be adding to my hair. So for this protein mask, you're going to need some honey, some olive oil, and some eggs. So typically, you want to do one egg, one tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of olive oil, but I'm going to double this recipe. Egg promotes hair growth, it reduces hair loss, prevents dryness and breakage, and it repairs damaged hair. Olive oil is rich in vitamins A, E, and it's rich in antioxidants, which help protect the keratin in hair and help to seal in moisture. Honey seals moisture in your hair, reduces breakage, it is rich in antioxidants as well, and it strengthens hair follicles, curbing hair loss. So here you see I mixed all of that together. I'm going to apply it in this bottle, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply it all over my hair. And when I say all over my hair, I literally am not leaving a drop in this bottle simply because I want this protein mask to do exactly what it needs to do to this hair so that we can go ahead and have some healthy hair once I wash it out. So as I apply this protein mask to my head, I'm going to massage my scalp as well. I don't have a scalp massager, but I mean, what's better than your fingers themselves? So massaging my scalp while applying this is just going to help the protein mask to get into the follicles of my hair and open up my scalp, again, promoting hair growth and just ensuring that everything is protected and, you know, not so much damaged. So as I was applying this protein mask, I was still shedding hair and that's perfectly fine guys. If you've made it to this point and you're still shedding hair, it is still perfectly normal. You just really have to take into account that once your hair is locked, it does not shed hair as much as free hair would shed on a daily. So once you do detangle those locks, all of that hair that was supposed to shed is going to shed. Don't be afraid of your hair shedding shedded hair is dead hair anyway so just get rid of it and just keep on moving with the process so now I've applied all the protein mask and I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes we'll come back and my hair is now freshly washed I did go in with a shampoo from this new brand that I picked up I'm not honestly sure how to say it, but I'm gonna give it a whack. Parnavu, <laughs> it's their tea tree brand. And um, this leave-in conditioner is what I'm gonna go ahead and apply along with their growth cream. And then I'm gonna just top it off with some avocado oil. So if you're hip to the natural hair, curly hair community, you know that I'm applying the lock method. It is the LOC method where you apply a leave-in conditioner 
an oil and then a cream to top it off. This just helps seal in the moisture and ensure that your hair is healthy. So I ran across this brand when looking for things for Akari's hair and I absolutely love it so much. It smells great, it does so well with our textured hair, and I am just totally a fan so I do definitely recommend that you go pick up you some Parnavin. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this Lock Detangle tutorial. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. I also want to redirect you guys to my new YouTube channel that is going to be all about this natural hair journey that I am about to take. I'm going to link it down in the description. It is called Queen Mother's Curls and Coils. Please, if you love this video, go ahead and subscribe to that channel because I will be giving you guys weekly updates every Sunday on anything and everything natural hair thanks so much for watching please be sure to tune in for the next video again hit that subscribe button if you haven't already i love you guys so much and until next time i will talk to you guys in my next video